Hi, and welcome back to Chaos Garden Designs. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. I know I've been doing a lot of sewing tutorials and fun things with sewing marathons, some lives, that kind of stuff, and I've done one unboxing so far. We're about to do another. Um, if you have heard of Sophisticated, um, they do just amazing patterns for bags. Well, Jessie's now gone and started offering sewing supplies and really fun sewing supplies, like stuff that I knew that I needed. Um, she offers actually some foam that I'm very excited about. I've been looking everywhere for different thicknesses of self-adhesive foam to use in a variety of patterns. I use other self-adhesive foam, but this is a little bit different. So um, I'm excited to show you all of the things. I'm sampling a bunch of things over the next couple of months, but I wanted to show you what I was sent. Um, and I have a bunch of notes, so excuse me for trying to read what is in here. <laughs> okay, so first off, um, she sent me something I didn't know that I needed. <laughs> so I use a lot of fabric pens to mark my fabric, to mark like cotton, but I also use silver marking pens to mark my vinyl because then that just kind of like rubs off with water. Um, and she sent me refills. So normally I just buy the pens, except for the silver marking pens, that one is refillable, I know. But the rest of my fabric marking pens, once they dry out, I toss them and it's very wasteful. Um, so she sent me refills. Super excited. Okay, so she sent me red, blue, black. That is good for, you know, just your regular cotton woven fabrics. And then she sent me like four silver refills. And I actually have two um, refillable marking pens for, for silver, for the vinyl. So that's gonna come in super handy. So get some refills. I didn't even know these, these existed. Um, but Jessie has you covered. Um, the other things that she sent me, she sent me a waterproof canvas. I love waterproof canvas and I've had, um, you know, I've used different types of waterproof canvas. This one's more of like a nylon. Um, it's, it's really cool. So very bright. Um, so this is, this is a, a yellow. Um, it's really fun, but I don't know if you can hear that. Here, I'll put it to the microphone. Can you hear it? Okay. So, um, and it's not like super thick. I get very frightened of super thick waterproof canvas and I've been very leery. I, I was leery at first of ordering waterproof canvas because the kind that I used was so thick and it would add so much thickness to my seams that I was breaking needles, I was getting skip stitches, it was awful. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled that so many small shops are now offering a more domestic friendly, I guess, waterproof canvas um, that can be used on domestic machines and this is this is a really good weight it's not super thin like I don't think you can see through it at all it's like I'm putting my I put my hand behind it you can't see it um, but it's not really thick either so I don't think this is going to add like a bunch of bulk it's if you can see that. so yeah excited to try that one and then I have not sewn with Lux before. I keep seeing it. So it is a, it is a waterproof um, fabric that has like a woven backing. So this is the Lux that she sent. And again, hold on, microphone. It's like a nylon-y type of feel to the outside. It's really soft. And the backing, the backing is like super soft. I don't know if you can see like the detail of the backing. It's not fuzzy, but it does have like a little bit of a, of a pattern in the back, but it's just the way that this, this is woven. So this is going to be great for, like I would probably use this waterproof canvas for linings. I don't sew a whole lot of like other bags where this would be good for like the outside. Might have a pattern coming up where it would though. Um, and, but this, this would be great for any type of bag. Like, I feel like it's nice and it's drapey, but it still has like a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't really wrinkle. 
a little bit. It looks like it would come out pretty easily. And then you could just wipe this down, like if it gets dirty. So especially on the outside of a bag, I feel like that's important. That's where I think cotton woven fails us. <laughs> I like to use a lot of cotton woven because I can get like really pretty prints. Um, but when it gets dirty, it is so hard to clean. And something like this Lux or the waterproof canvas would be amazing. Okay, so then she sent some mesh fabric. So this is the mesh. She sent me a red mesh. You can kind of see the details. This is a little thicker, thicker. Hmm, thicker is not the right word. This is a little more stable, I should say, than some of the other mesh that I've used. Um, and I mostly use it for pockets. And I think the issue that I have with some of the mesh that I use is, you know, it's the quality of the mesh that I'm using. But sometimes, um, especially if I'm using it in like in cosmetic bags, the mesh can stretch out. It loses some of the elasticity and ends up being a little more on the baggy side and doesn't hold as many things in there, um, in that pocket. I feel like this probably wouldn't do that. Like there's a little bit of stretch this way, but nothing this way, right? So, and, I, and, and this is definitely on the stiffer, like netting side. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of some of the other nettings that I've seen um, that you use for like dressmaking and things. So I like this a lot. Um, and then there's something I've, I've never sewn with this before. I've seen it. I know what people use it for. I've never used it. So this is something called air mesh. And air mesh is, it's a mesh on one side and then this other, it's, it's fused to like another piece of fabric on the other side. I don't know if I can, you can see this on the camera. Let's see if I can get it to focus. If you can see what I'm talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there we go. But can you see that? So you could see that front part that's mesh. And then the back is like this squishy, foamy type of fabric. I mean, it's obviously polyester, but yeah so um it's very squishable um so this is used like on the back of backpacks and slings so that like air can still get through and you don't get kind of a sweaty back um this is also good for like shoulder straps for backpacks you've probably seen for shoulder straps on backpacks um so that's going to be really great to play with and then two other things that i'm not sure which one to show you first because i'm excited about both Let's look at bias tape first. Can we talk about this for a minute? All right. Um, so some of these small shops have been offering strips of like waterproof canvas or other materials that you can use to bind your bags. So it's a, all kinds of different binding. Um, regular like twill bias tape has not been stable enough, in my opinion, for binding your seams on most bags, at least the ones that I design um, the bigger ones the smaller ones you're fine but um you know it, and bias tape is is great because it does like cover your seams and then it looks pretty but the other purpose of having the binding on your seams is to stabilize the seam so especially when you're doing like shaped bags like circles or you know something that some of the coffin bags out there too where you want it to like keep its shape when you have a lot of things in it um, and to keep kind of those like really sharp edges, you want something a little thicker than like a cotton twill. And my other issue with the cotton twill is it doesn't always look the prettiest. So I tend to like cut strips of waterproof canvas or I buy binding strips from a lot of different small businesses. So this is a, a version of that that I haven't tried before. And I know some shops carry something similar. I just haven't tried it. Um, and there's three different sizes. And I apologize for not writing the sizes down. I think this middle one is about an inch. And then this other one is about an inch and a quarter. And then this little one is maybe like seven eighths or so. I'm looking. That's about seven eighths. Yeah, so this is about seven eighths inches wide. Um, 
it's almost like a ribbon only this is a little bit maybe a little even thinner than like a grow grain ribbon it's nice and flexible um, the one inch is a little bit thicker than that not much though but it's a little bit thicker is the one inch and then the one and a quarter and I'm giving you measurements that I understand and not metric I'm sorry um, and this is the the other one so oh wait she wrote down on this one that this is three centimeters so I don't know what the other ones are in centimeters so these oh, I can't wait to use them um, I'm probably gonna use this on my next bag but I like that you can order three different sizes and I'm probably gonna order all three to play with seven eighths I'm not sure I'm trying to think if I have any bags coming up that I would need seven eighths. I don't know. I know I will need the one inch and I know I need will need the one and a quarter. I know that. So I'm probably going to order both. Um, okay, here's the last thing. Foam. All right, so I've been using um, EVA self-adhesive foam for certain projects. Um, and then I've been using like just a regular self-adhesive foam for like like other pieces of my bags and which I love I found um, you know a shop that carries some awesome self-adhesive foam which is fabric therapy get some self-help adhesive foam from them for sure it is a different type of foam than what I'm about to show you though um, and that's more of like a traditional foam that you're gonna find at Joann's um, that normally I would have just like used an iron to like iron it on or I would have used a spray adhesive to put it onto my bag panels um, fabric therapy has a sticky back to it and it really sticks it's awesome it stays put get some this is different this is closer to like the EVA foam that I've been trying to use and I've had varying success with and I've and I've tried to find like different thicknesses of that foam it is more like um, the craft foam that you can find um, like where all the kids crafts are like at Michael's or Joann's but it has a self adhesive back that's kind of what it feels like and um, sophisticated offers three different thicknesses there is a light a heavy and a premium so let me show you the light first and this is 0.5 millimeter thickness it comes with a backing and then this is what the foam looks like. So it's just a white foam. Pull back, if we pull back this backing, it's nice and tacky and sticky. Okay, so here's how thick this one is. So this is 0.5 millimeters. It's nice and flexible. It's nice and soft. It's seriously like a craft foam. It's great. Um, this is, this, it, this um, would be, fantastic for like wallets where you need kind of the stability but you don't want the deck a little heavy or the deck a little light on it you want something a little more stable that's not going to wrinkle and stuff this this would be great for that um i have a pattern coming out to be determined date um that is a gourd so it has a dome um, on the front of it and it in the way that it comes together I need something like this so I've been trying to test different thicknesses for that to see what I it can handle um, and what I like best so I'm excited to test this out for that pattern um, okay so then heavy is two millimeters so we went from 0.5 to two um, and again it has the same backing it looks the same on the front it's just thicker so this is the thicker one so this is heavy and then there is a premium and premium is 2.7 so we went from 0.5 to 2 and then now this is 2.7 and this has a white paper backing to it it's just a little stiffer so this is the 2.7 so this is again it's still very pliable and I think it would work actually I might use this for my gourd pattern and it's super sticky on the back so I think it's gonna stay really well to fabric so I'm gonna use cotton woven for that I think this is gonna work great and it's gonna keep the shape really really nicely so so excited so if you don't want like if you want stability 
but you don't want a lot of loft, right? Then these, this type of foam might be what you're looking for for a bag um, or for a wallet. I would say the thinner ones might be better for the wallets and then the, this thicker premium one might be better for bags. But I've even tried using foams like this um, for my gussets and it's worked out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to play around with that some more. I think I might use this for my entire bag for my next gourd that I'm going to make. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. Okay, I think that's it to show you. Um, Pre-orders open. Pre-orders open now um, on the at sophisticatedsupplies.com. I will put a link in the description of this video. So down below, if you want to go ahead and just click on that, head on over to Jesse's site, sophisticatedsupplies.com. Pre-orders open until October 31st. Um, so, you know, you still have some time to order. I'm really, really excited about everything she has to offer. I was, I got an email this morning um, talking about all the supplies that she has. She has fabric, she has everything on there. So this is just a small sampling of some of the things I'm interested in ordering. There's so much more. I'm probably gonna end up browsing and ordering more things that I I don't need, but I want. Um, so definitely head on over there. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I will report back when I start using some of these supplies. Um, I often mention where I get my supplies when I put out my pattern instructions. So if you look at the very end of my patterns, you will see like where I got the fabrics or the thread or anything else that I'm using, labels, anything that I'm using um, for that pattern to try to help you out and give you some ideas of where to find good bag making supplies. So I hope this is really helpful. I will make sure that I'm mentioning the bias tape and everything else that I'm using in future patterns. Um, and I may come back onto this channel too and kind of give you all an update of kind of what I think in terms of what might work best for certain bags. Um, so I'll try to do that more often. But in the meantime, please hit that thumbs up button on this video so you can like it. Um, it really helps me out. Please subscribe to this channel so you know when I'm posting uh, videos next. Um, I believe one of the next videos you're going to see from me will be for another sewing marathon. So um, that'll be coming up. And I guess that's it. Please um, also head on over to Sophisticated Supplies to their Instagram account, Facebook group, all of the places on social to follow them. Again, I'll try to put all of their social media links in the description. Um, please follow me also on Facebook, Instagram, I'm on TikTok, um, enjoy my Facebook group. Um, I offer a lot of things on my Facebook group and I might be having a little celebration coming up in a couple weeks uh, where you can win a bunch of things uh, because we reached 3,000 Facebook group members. So head on over to that Facebook group and uh, join me there. Have a fantastic day. Till next time.